Hello everybody, Dylan here. Um, what I wanted to do today, as you can see, I've got the Poseidon with the tri-blades and the new um, controller. So what I wanted to do today is to take you through um, start to finish, just a short flight, but I want to take you through a calibration process, show you the new controller, um, and give you some visualization of what the drone is like in the air. So we're flying in about um, 16 knots, gusting 29 knots of wind. Um, it's actually, the wind has actually come down quite a bit. But yeah, I just really wanted to take the opportunity to show you guys what's involved when you get your new um, Poseidon. So all the drones that we bring into the country that we currently have in stock, all gets run exactly like we're doing now. So this is a brand new drone that's going out to a customer shortly. So each drone is calibrated, each drone is test flown before it comes out to the customer. And what that means is, is that when you receive your drone, all you gotta do is turn it on, hook up your device, hook up your gear, and send it out so there's no calibration. All of the, the calibrations and pre-flight stuff is done prior to you getting the drone. So let's get straight into it. So we're gonna do a calibration first. Um, we'll go through that whole process, connecting your device. I'm using an Android at the moment. And then we'll do a short flight, bring it back on return to home. And yep, hopefully you guys learn something out of it. So let's go. So first of all, um, I will Turn the controller on so the way you know the controller is on is that there's a blue light down there red light and there's four green lights now the four green lights gives you your battery um, how how full the battery is so I'll turn the drone on So when the drone is off and the controller is on, the blue light will flash to say that it's not connected to anything. But the moment you turn the drone on, it's solid light immediately. So on the screen, on the controller, on the top line, you can see your connection, GPS, 15 satellites, and the controller on the, the battery on the controller is at 91%. You've got Northwest at 342 degrees where we are at the moment the voltage of the drone battery is 25 volts no speed no height and no distance from home so everything is quite clear on the small screen but it's a lot clearer when you start using your mobile phone and we'll show you that in a minute so now that the controller is on the drone is on I'm going to connect my device to the drone so check this out so what I'm going to do first is, clearly this is not my phone, so we'll go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, open up the Wi-Fi, and now we wait. Now, the moment you see the IDF Tech um, device name, if you click on that, it will say connecting. Now, particularly on the Android devices, when the phone connects to the drone it's a pre-connection so you might get a notification that internet may not be available um, and we're not connected to the drone via internet it's just the invisible cable connecting the phone to the drone so if you get this notification always say yes always connect all right we don't need internet we know that it doesn't have internet but we still want to connect so now that we're connected, I just jump straight onto my IDF Tech app. I'll notice on the top right hand corner, I have an app version and I have a firmware version. Now, the app version is obviously the, the, the version of the app on your phone. The second line is the version of the drone that you're running. So I go to Start Fly. And right up on the screen, my camera comes up satellites so i've got 16 full battery and all the the buttons speed distance and height is clearly visible so now we're going to calibrate so on the top right hand corner 
there's a sun looking thing it's supposed to be a gear so we're going to click on that and halfway down the screen you're going to see start calibration so come down here so i'm going to push start calibration sometimes you've got to push it a couple of times and the drone will beep now at that point it's in calibration mode so i'll pick up the drone and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to rotate the back over the front, like this. And then I'm going to rotate the drone anti-clockwise and rotate the sides over one another. Now, on the screen of the phone, you'll see a download bar, right? So, as I follow through the rotations, you'll see progress complete. And that's absolutely done. So... What I'll do is, is I'll turn the drone off. Back out of the settings screen. Okay. At this point, I'll put the blades on. Oh, wrong blade. That looks pretty cool. So, turn the drone back on. The drone will beep when it turns on. And then it will give a second chime. Um, and that's when the camera and the release is activated. So, if you listen carefully, by release the line or operate the camera, now active now one very very important thing that you need to check before you fly particularly on your small screen or the mobile phone screen is that you are in GPS mode if you are in ATT mode the drone will start up you'll be able to take off as normal but the moment you let go of the joysticks, the drone will start drifting, okay? I might show you that in our short flight of the drone's behavior when it's in the ATT. But most important to have a successful flight, make sure that you're in GPS mode before you take off. So we'll take a step back in a minute and I'm going to put it up in the air. So let's have a look. So, to engage the blades and the motors, two joysticks inwards, nice and easy, and up they go. Alright, now your joystick movements is exactly like any previous drone that you might have used before. With the left joystick, you take off and land, um, the right joystick is forward and back. So, we're going to start our, our basic flight, or just our short flight, and we'll go from there. Brilliant. So, 
I don't have my fingers on the joysticks. The drone is not moving around too much. It is a bit windy at the moment, so there is a little bit of movement. You might not be able to see it on the video. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the drone into ATT mode and you're going to notice, you're going to check the behavior of this drone now, right? It's in hover mode, ATT, watch the drone. Can you see it drifting in on its own? The moment I put it back into GPS, the drone will hover. So to avoid any accidents or your line wrapping around your rod, which happened to me once, just because I assumed it was in GPS, um, I had a bit of a bubble with it, uh, with my drone. Um, I was just quick enough to release the line, take the drone up. But to save you all the hassle and the worry and the service bill, make sure your drone's in GPS before you take off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the drone up just a little bit. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to pop it in to return to home. Now, this new controller's got a really neat function. So if I push it in to return to home, the drone will stay stationary, but the moment it receives the signal, the controller will beep. At that point, I know that the drone is returning. And she'll start her descent. popped it out of GPS, um, out of return to home into GPS and the beeping has stopped. So thank you for joining us today while we take you through the calibration process. You might have seen it before on some of our other videos. But thank you for watching the video. Um, join our group, Drone Tech New Zealand Fishing Group. Um, these drones are available in stock. They're extremely easy to use. Um, thank you for joining us on our initial flight. This drone is now calibrated, tested, ready to go to the next customer. So once again, that happens to all our drones before you get it. So now when you get your drone or when you get this device, you can turn it on, connect your device, connect your gear and send it, no matter where you are in the country. So again, thank you and I'll catch you guys out there, tight lines.